Hey guys, what's going on? Jordy here with the first Wonderlands video to the channel. It's going to be a new series that I'm going to be doing called Fate Makers Fashion, where basically we take a brand new character from scratch. We go through the character customization in the beginning of the game and we create a character and it can be anything. It can be from a TV show. It can be from a movie. And you guys can comment down below if you want to see some really cool characters. But basically, we're going to be creating a character from anything that we want uh, and today's episode we're going to be doing sage mode naruto you guys have seen naruto uh this is this is what i've come up with and he looks pretty great um and basically we're just going to create the character from scratch and i'm going to walk you through the process of of how you create a character and here he is here's naruto whenever i start creating the character or getting into the customization or anything like that i always like to look up the character that i'm trying to create as like a reference point so here's the reference picture uh just in case you wanted to know kind of my thought process and everything like that uh we're gonna try to recreate the eyes as you can see here we're gonna try to recreate the hair we're gonna try to recreate everything and it, i think it actually looks pretty good so let's jump into the character customization and let's see what we come up with all right so first things first we are gonna start a new game you guys can pick any options you want and then of course we're gonna have to skip the cutscene. unless you haven't watched this then i would definitely recommend watching this because it's actually a pretty awesome cutscene. but for the sake of the video, we're going to skip it. There we go. And the first thing you're going to be doing is picking your class. So this is actually just, you know, the, how the game is intended. You're going to pick your class. You guys can pick whatever you want. Um, just I would keep in mind that you have to kind of realize what the class armor is going to do. So like, for instance, the Clawbringer, a lot of the class armors have like these wings or just like different looks. Um, so you kind of want to pick your class based off of how you want Naruto to kind of like look in the end game. Uh, like this kind of wouldn't really work with like these horns on the shoulders. I mean, you can, you could totally do that if you want. Um, like you could have, you could have an Naruto with these like giant horns or whatever you want. It's whatever you want. It's your game. You guys can pick whatever class you want, uh, but we're just going to be making whatever class we do pick look like Naruto. So I'm actually going to go with Spore Warden. Um, it kind of fits at the theme of like toads and, and mushrooms and, and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go spore warden. Um, so let's do that. And the first thing that I like to do when I get to a character customization screen, uh, is actually engage this. Uh, what it does is it allows all these sliders to kind of go a little further in depth. Um, you can get a little more detail and kind of change a lot of different things, uh, with that actually engaged. So I normally engage this. You don't have to, but I normally do just to get a little bit better results or better detail rather. So for body and personality, we're going to pick that one. You could make Naruto with this look, um, but it's just a little, little too skinny for my taste. Uh, this would normally be like a, like a girl's physique, whereas like Naruto's a boy. So we're going to, we're going to go with this one. Um, and he is kind of like a more broad, maybe not broad shouldered, but he is kind of like a, a wider stance whenever he is a little older. Um, if you guys have seen the anime, so we're going to go with that one. And, uh, since he is kind of like a, you know, a 16, 15, 16 year old, I mean, he's not, he's not a ginormous person. He's also not really like small anymore. You know, he's, he's, he's grown up a little, so, you know, we're going to get somewhere, you know, right. Yeah. Yeah. That looks good. Uh, I like to bump up the head size a little bit. Uh, maybe not like too big, like this is obviously too big, but, um, maybe, you know, somewhere just to kind of like get a little bigger. There's some facial features that you can start to add that are kind of hard to see. Um, and you definitely want to like see, cause this is going to be like the main thing that's going to make it resemble Naruto, his face. So I like to make it just a little bigger. And then you guys can come in here and change all this to however you want. Um, but he is, you know, like a 16 year old. So let's give him a 16 year old voice. Yep, that's Naruto. For the facial features, there's actually a lot of cool things we can do in the facial features that uh, kind of will determine how he'll look like Sage Mode Naruto uh, or just of any character. There's a lot of cool things or like maybe like tricks you could do to kind of get a little bit more detail uh, that you wouldn't normally think of. Uh, and I'll kind of explain that as we get going. But the head shape, um, I've thought about this a lot. And with the character that I actually have built uh, to look like Naruto, I went with reversed. Um, you could kind of just play around with these and, you know, like this is obviously Naruto right here. Uh, 
I'm going to go with reverse. You get some of those black line details too. So that's just kind of like extra, extra detail. Uh, Naruto is white. So, I mean, you can kind of, you can make him look like this if you want. Um, but we're going to go with probably this one, human two. And then the hair, uh, the first time I made this character, this was, uh, you know, none of the options were super amazing. Uh, you could go with something like this because Naruto does have like that crazy hair. You could do this for like the fact that it's kind of funny and he's like the nine tail fox, you know, he's got the ears. We're going to go with this one. Um, I feel like this just looks the best uh, for what we're trying to create. Um, and then as far as the color, you're not going to have all these options. Uh, if you just started playing the game, uh, you're going to have to find some of these options down here. Uh, so we're going to go with one of the blondes up here. Uh, just because this is like the colors, this, this row and up these first three rows or columns or whatever, uh, they, they are what you have at the start of the game. Uh, I'm going to go with strawberry blonde. I think that this is just a little more of the color that we want. I feel like this is almost too blonde and I feel like this one just looks really good. So we're going to go with that. As far as the ears, obviously he's not an elf, so we're not going to go with any of the pointy ones. Um, he has like these ears that are really close to his face. Um, as you can see in the reference picture, they're kind of like tighter to his head. So I'm going to go with these attached ones, uh, but you could kind of play around with this. Some of the other ones like these are not bad either, uh, but I, I think these look the best and I'm actually going to bump these up just a little to kind of fit and fill the face a little more kind of like that. As for the nose, um, some of these noses in the game are kind of weird. Uh, obviously this game was intended to be fantasy, so you can kind of pick some of these like creepier looking ones. You make like a, like a troll or a goblin, or, you know, whatever the case may be. But I've also to kind of determined in some of the characters I've made that the top row is going to be more of your like normal looking noses. We're going to go with the soft nose and we're actually going to make it a little smaller. Where'd that go? Here we go. We're gonna make it a little smaller and make it a little longer kind of filling in that face a little this very slight movements but i just feel like this works the best or it looks the best the mouth um i mean there's not much to say about the mouth he it he's got a basic mouth <laughs> um that's pretty much fine the small one is good i feel like this one's good and i feel like it's just a little too big so we can kind of scale that in a little. Uh, we're, we're translating an anime style to a video game style that is completely different. So you kind of have to work with what you got. And I feel like this list looks the best. Um, and you can even change like the height if you want. I feel like it was good where it was, but I mean, you can go lower. You can go. Up. Oh, there we go. You can kind of just, you know, play around with it. See what you like. Eyeball it. And yeah, that's, that's uh, going to be it for the mouth. For the eyes, uh, there's a couple of things you can do in here that are like those tricks I was telling you about. So eyebrows, um, there's not really a lot of good options for the style that we're going for. I'm going to go with sharp. I feel like these look like French fries and those are just not really the, the style. I think the sharp ones are probably the best. Yeah, the sharp ones. <laughs> those are going to be good. Um, and then eyelashes. So I feel like you have to put some eyelashes on this. Um, strictly because how he looks in sage mode, he has that like black, like not ring, but it's like basically eyeshadow, uh, that is very like deep black and it, it has that look. So we're actually going to go with these, with these just to give that black line. Um, you could of course just not pick that, but I feel like it's going to just, it looks a little better with the, what we're going for the eye shape. Um, you can kind of go with anything here. Uh, maybe not any of these, like my eyes are closed. I'm sleepy looks or, you know, like, Hey, what's up? I'm Naruto or old man Naruto. Um, uh, but you can, you can kind of play with this and see what's going to fit best. Uh, this is default. The deep one, I think smooth looks good. Uh, it's just kind of like the basic, the first one. Um, so that's going to be what we're going to choose. And then the pupils, this is actually the, this was the pupil that I got inspiration to make this character for or from rather. 
um they have like the the frog eyes like in the reference picture like he has like that frog line whenever he goes into the sage mode uh so you could pick this if you wanted i don't like this i think this doesn't translate very well uh if it had like a an actual like pupil around it and that and this was black and that was what was being changed this would work perfectly but i don't think this fits very well and so for that reason we're gonna go with the feline ones you could also potentially do this but it's just a little too creepy and the black doesn't change so we're gonna go with the feline ones it also kind of fits with the naruto theme because naruto has like the whole nine tail fox thing and it kind of just works um and then this change this next change is kind of what brings it together so boom we're going with the with the amber eyes and you can already start to see naruto kind of like forming with just with the eye color change uh, specifically the sage mode but just with the eye color change i feel like that's pretty naruto looking already and you can change the heights and the spacing and the angles and whatnot but we're just gonna leave it like this i feel like this looks good um and we are gonna go to the next section which is the face decoration so here's another thing that kind of brings it all together this this really makes it naruto these these uh feral marks boom look at that naruto bam naruto has those three lines on the sides of his faces on the, on the sides of his faces on his cheeks <laughs> And uh, I feel like this is, uh, well, this was one of the other reasons why I wanted to build this character. Cause this, as soon as I got these to drop, I was like, yo, yo, that's, yo, you can make Naruto. And that kind of inspired this look. So we're going to go with those ones. Um, and then you could potentially try to make something work with tattoos, but I have yet to get a tattoo in this game that like a face tattoo that kind of resembles those lines nothing really works here so if there is a tattoo in the game that i just don't know about then this could potentially change but for now we're just going to go with the scars moving on to the eyeliner so this is where you're going to also start to get a lot of the the look uh the the sage mode look so i was playing with this when i originally created the character and i was like man how are we going to get that look? How are we going to get that like yellow or like that orange around the eyes? Um, this is probably the closest thing that I've determined. Some of these are just like too thin. You could even potentially mess with this, but I feel like this one just works the best. And then we're actually going to change this to uh, the brick village color. Um, if you don't have this color, uh, there's a couple other colors like this one also kind of works the red even kind of sort of works uh you can go with this one but he has that like orangey color around his eye like you can even go with the golem glam but i feel like this one just translate the best to like an orange look uh so we're gonna go with that one and then the eye shadow um i think it's it's one of these top ones that kind of just gives a more in-depth um look to it to kind of fill in around the eye because it's it's all orange around the eye and then you can actually change that eye shadow color to whatever you think i feel like still going with with the brick village one fills in that orange at the top and it kind of gives that ring that orange ring around his eye and then like the the eyelashes just make it kind of work so we're gonna go with that and you can mess with some lipsticks and blushes if you want uh to kind of get more detail in the face but Again, we're translating an anime character to a video game character. So none of this really matters uh, if you wanted just more effect, I guess. Um, if you go into blushes, there's some things like you can do like maybe like battle, like he's dirty from battle or, you know, he's all, you know, his cheekbones are being addressed, I guess, um, highlighted rather. Um, and some of these are cool, but we're just not even going to worry about it. Um, so that's, that's pretty much all we got. That's, uh, that's, that's Naruto's facial features. Uh, next is going to be armor. So you can, you can kind of depict the color armor you're going to pick based off of the character you're choosing. So the primary color, uh, you can, uh, normally what I do is I like just go in and kind of move it around to see what it's going to change. And I'll do that for like all three. So like, this is going to be like that centerpiece. So that's going to be more of a black. Uh, and this is the blackest I've found in the game so far. 
uh the top one is going to be probably the orange because those are his like iconic colors like the the orange and, and black uh it's very naruto and then you can kind of depict what orange you're going to want to use um i feel like both of these are really good options um there's a couple other oranges in the game that you could work with or you could even just make him blue if you wanted it doesn't it doesn't matter this is all up to you how you make the character look like even this one's kind of cool um Maybe we do go with this. I think I actually like this better. I do have this on this one on my one of these. I think it's this one on my other character, but I actually kind of like this better. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I think that looks cool. And then you could even do that here too to get even more orange in there. So what we pick uh, this this one. So like, boom, that's Naruto. Um, but you could also take this tertiary color. And when he does go into sage mode, he gets that red cloak. So you could also give him like a, a red color here if you wanted, or you could do it later on once you get some class armors and kind of decide or determine how he's going to look uh, in the end game. But I think we're going to go with this to just stick with the orange and black for now. And then you can get more creative with it later on with the colors and whatever. And like I said, you could pick whatever color you want, but that's, uh, that's going to be sage mode Naruto. I think it looks pretty good. Let's uh let's go to the next screen. Oh, of course we gotta pick Village Idiot. We gotta bump up all the crit damage because crit damage is good in this game, if not borderline broken. And then of course we gotta name our guy. Uh, let's just go all caps. Naruto. Naruto! Boom. There he is. It looks great. I think he looks great. Ba bam. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for this episode of Fate Maker's Fashion. We made Sage Mode Naruto, and he looks pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Uh, if you guys did make Sage Mode Naruto, make sure you guys join the Discord, which is down in the description. And uh, we're going to have a section in there where you guys can post your own customizations. If you customized your own Sage Mode Naruto, please drop it in there. Let me, let me see what you guys came up with. Or if you have any other cool customizations uh, that you've done, make sure you guys drop it in there as well. And uh, who knows, maybe I will uh, feature them in a future Fate Maker's Fashion episode. Hmm, who knows? And uh, spoilers for the next episode, it might have something to do with Destiny 2. Also, if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, make sure you check out the links in the description as well. We're going to be playing uh, the Sage Mode Naruto. Not this one we built, but uh, the, the first one I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. We're going to be playing some stuff over there, working on a Spore Warden build and different things like that. So... Make sure you guys go check us out over at uh, twitch.tv forward slash shorty goes raw. I'll see you guys over there. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great one. Peace out.